Next, tragedy strikes, accidents happen. Be there when the calls come in. It's back-to-back -back episodes of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Today on Rescue 911. My little brother is choking. A crisis on the other end of the line. They'll be there in about 10 minutes. But he won't live that long. A telephone is a baby's only link to life. God, hurry! On Rescue 911. <laughs> When a 911 system was installed in Sargent County, North Dakota, in June of 1994, it came as a comfort to the residents of the remote rural area. But Bert Simonensky of Cayuga never imagined she would be the first person in the county to use the new system to reach out for help. It was quite a warm day. I had been doing dishes, and Ryan was playing outside. There were 11 years between him and his older brother, so needless to say, he's kind of an unplanned addition to the family. Ryan came in for a snack. The refrigerator. Really hungry? And so I took a piece of deli ham out, and I just rolled it up, and. He said he was going to go sit outside on the step and eat it. Be careful, okay? He has it all the time, so I didn't think anything of it. Ryan's 13-year-old brother, Brad, was already outside. He keeps us busy. He goes upstairs, he's in our rooms, he's outside. Uh. Dispatcher David Kulikowski took the call from the centralized North Dakota State Radio Communications Center. I had never handled a choking incident before, and I was wishing right away that I had had more experience. Okay, uh, is he turning blue? Oh. Mom, is he turning blue? He's out. He's out. Okay, we've got to try the Heimlich maneuver. In a rural setting that takes time, for an ambulance to get there, I realized I was going to have to give pre-arrival medical instructions. But if you make a mistake, you could cost somebody their lives. The nearest medic unit was more than 15 miles away. exactly how many times we tried that Heimlich thing, but that didn't work. Yeah, he's turning blue. Oh, somebody's got to get here. Help, help me, God, he can't die. For he's just a little boy. When I heard the mother say the child was turning blue, I could feel for the mother. I have children myself, and I wanted more than anything in the world for that child to live. I, it was the only thing that meant anything to me. Okay, you've got to 
keep trying, ma'am. The ambulance. I'm trying. I'm trying. They state they'll be there in about 10 minutes. Oh, my God. But he won't live that long. You make memories, you save memories, then you share them. With the HP Pavilion Desktop, powered by the Intel Pentium 4 processor, starting at $4.99 after rebates, monitor included. Create home movies in minutes when you upgrade to a DVD burner and movie editing software. Put away your marker and start burning custom-designed silkscreen quality labels on your DVDs when you upgrade your DVD burner with LightScribe, only from HP. Show your sense of style when you choose a space-saving 15 or 17-inch flat panel display. Call now, and for a limited time, get a free 15-inch flat panel upgrade and a free HP printer. And let us help you customize your PC. The HP Pavilion Desktop with the Intel Pentium 4 processor. You have everything you need. if he was even really still alive. But I told Brian, you can't just die in the back of my mind. I knew that couldn't happen. He's turning blue. He's turning blue now. You still have him in your lap. I've got him in my lap. No, okay, no. lay the child face up on the floor. I found out the child was gasping for air. I realized there was hope. You've got to open his mouth and try to see if you can get something out. I'm trying. I advised the mother to turn the child's head to the side and scoop the material out of the mouth. I was hoping that we could get the material before the child could breathe it back in. Okay, I brought him outside. Okay. Was he eating something, Mom? Yeah, a piece of ham. A piece of ham? Yeah. Okay, he is breathing. He is breathing, good. I think you just saved your son's life. out the child was turning blue again it let me know that the child had breathed some of the material back into his throat i felt a sense of dread i'm the kind of person that's very hard on myself and i felt that maybe there was something more i could have done he was he had color before now he does it right Brad? he was eating a piece of ham they're here okay thank you ma'am thanks for your help Bye. He was eating a piece of ham. It took 23 minutes for the foreman ambulance crew, including EMT Joan Fawcett, to get to the farm. Because of the partial blockage, he wasn't getting enough oxygen. I've never seen a child as blue as this one was. I think we just better grab him and go, guys. I thought the child was in a lot of trouble, so we had to hurry up and get him out of here and get the, to someplace quick because he needed more help than we were able to give him. Ryan, wake up. His mouth is clamped shut tight. Come on, buddy. I would Ryan. pinch him to see if there was any reaction, and there was no reaction. Ryan, I'm not getting a pulse. All of a sudden, I couldn't find a pulse at all. I thought we lost him completely, and I wasn't sure if I could go on myself, knowing that we did lose him. I've been on ambulance runs with CPR, but I've never done CPR, and. I was hoping I was doing everything right. One, two, three. 
three, four, five. He started choking, so that's when we turned him to his side and a piece of ham fell out. Give me the section. It was pretty big. I couldn't believe how big it was. Well, hi, Ryan. He was looking around and he was responding to his name. It was the greatest feeling to know that he was getting better because this was our first 911 call. Ryan Semineski was hospitalized and released two days later. Recently, Ryan celebrated his third birthday. I've tried many times to imagine that whole thing happening without the 911 system and without anybody to tell me what to do and how to do it. I just can't imagine that this story would have the same ending it does today. The most special gift the family received that day was a visit from dispatcher David Kulikowski. It made me feel good when Bert came out and gave me a big hug because she was so happy that her son was alive. And I knew uh, she even liked me. Words can't possibly explain how I feel. I just, I think he's the most wonderful person in the world. And I really feel that I owe Ryan's life to him. You're a special, special person. Next, it's the medical drama that captured life in a Chicago hospital and captured our hearts. Stay tuned for David E. Kelly's critically acclaimed series, Chicago Hope. Next, on Discovery Health Channel, real life, medicine, miracles. Mr. Shapiro, step out of the car, please.